Side it, man. What's the side it, man? Oh my god. Oh. Look at the state of that. You can look into the other shower room. It's just the problem keeping the wide window open. Oop. Or prison cell windows. You just open them on a little catch. Not too wide. You don't allow to open your prison cell windows that wide in case you jump down them. But you get the idea what I'm saying. That puts Blackpool to shame. So in this video, we're going to be staying in somewhere a little bit different like you guys have been asking me to do instead of the hotels and the cheap B&Bs. The first thing is though, when you come on this road, you're not allowed to take your cars past the gate. You have to leave them on the roadside like this. Already you can see there's tents and stuff up. And we're going to be just at the top up there. And tonight I'm in pod number three which is this one here you could have a hot tub but i didn't want to pay the money for it right i'll just put the number in oh, they're already open tell you what that fence is making a racket here we go first first impressions very very pink the whole thing's just pink we do have i think the bedroom's in there we'll have a look at there in a minute but i just want to shut this door because that gate is making a racket got your toilet block there right there we go that's a bit better table and chair that's all right what are these things called clothes offs stick you close to dry but yeah, you see family tents, TP tents, everything like that as well. If you come to Scarborough, if you've been past, well, going into Scarborough, there's the big circus tent there, the red and white one. We're just behind that, behind the Shell station. But yeah, everything's pink. It's pink, very, very girly. Pink curtains, pink wooden walls, pink ceiling. And you come to your it does look like a bed city but the lady did say do not remove the blanket from the city i think that's just to protect it <laughs> it's falling to pieces or someone's got a, a bad painting skill wow that is a kettle from the 90s that one isn't it Ooh. Full of lime scale in there. It is windy outside, and these doors are rattling. Yeah, it's wood. I should understand that. But yeah, pink. What do you think about the colour? Very pinky. We'll have a look at bedroom in a minute. I, I'm, I'm just going to say that could be pink as well. The same colour scheme throughout. You do get a lot of stuff. You know you're walking here and it's like you walked into your garden shed when you're getting yourself your exercise bike out. You know, you push bike and you put it in the garden and you don't use it. It smells like that. You walked into your shed. You do get a TV. Now, I believe that is a smart TV. Let's have a look. And you get some menus to get food as well. Yeah, wow, you're moving. It's just like, just sounds like you're in your shed. You are in the shed. Glamping pod. Yeah, oh yes, look at this. So you can get Netflix here, ITV Plus. So it is a smart TV. Oh, the best best thing on the planet, people. We have YouTube. I doubt they've been watching my channel. That's quick. That is quick to say we're in a pod in the middle of the field. Nah, this is a young lad's account watching all these. Wow, that door, that door is annoying. It's a good job I'm not sleeping in here. Yeah. Interesting, turn that off. Don't get done for uh, copyright, do we? So you get some sort of car service, maybe a taxi if you wanna go somewhere. Lots of menus. Lots of menus, things to do. Food menu. That's something I'm interested in looking at. So 
So you get a meal deal for any 12 inch pizza times two cheeseburger and chips, garlic bread, plain cheese or tomato and two soft drinks for £24. What's the most expensive thing on here? 30 quid. That's the deal for 30 quid. Any 12 inch pizza, two medium doner kebabs, is that one summer uh, cheeseburger and chips, onion rings, kids, kids meal and a bottle of coke for £30. Look at my little radiator. This is so tiny. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, 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 already dust alert people, let's let's not let that knock this place, wow, you've got a radiator what you probably could carry around with you, yeah, well, that's better, plug socket, it's, it's quite interesting isn't it, very interesting actually, I like it, so you've got a fridge here what's being battered, the fridge has been battered. Look at that, it's got more dints in it than all else. Catch the light on that. Ding, ding. The fridge. What's this fridge smell like? It smells all right in here. It's quite cool, actually. There's cool air coming out. The freezer. Has anybody left any chips? No, they haven't. <coughs> What's this? Ice cream. Ice cream, definitely melted ice cream there. And they've been scraping stuff in. Imagine getting a little freeze like this when you're young, you set up your own council flat or something, and you scrape your pizzas and all your microwave meals. That's what's happened. I know them, Max. Yeah, fridge isn't the cleanest at all. It's quite dirty, the fridge. Hands and knees now, investigating the area. You get a brush, hey, look, you couldn't even bother painting behind the sink properly. Definitely knocked yourself a mark there, you should have definitely painted behind there. So you're down to nine points already. And there's a fly in here, there's the fly. You get a little brush, what's got more air on it and you'd see anywhere else in the world. Fly spray, so there must be a fly problem. Another brush, here. Let's have a look at it. You get a bin and another brush. What's well, got a lot of air in it as well. Ugh. That's disgusting. Bin's empty. A few little bits and bats. Not too bad. I'm just being nosy now, aren't I? Ah, this is what we need. Yes. So we get some cups. Not too bad. Some glasses. A bag of sugar and coffee. No milk. A few tea bags. No milk, so you can't have a drink. Unless you have black tea and coffee. Plates, plates don't look too bad. Yeah. A few bits there. The microwave. Let's look in the microwave. Yeah. I recognise that smell. Somebody's definitely had a microwave spaghetti bolognese in here. You can definitely smell spaghetti bolognese, 100%. A few lights, that make no difference in the daytime, but we do have all four bulbs. That is amazing, four bulbs. That puts Blackpool to shame. But we'll turn them off, we don't need them on. So what's this one for? Must be an outside light. We'll have a look at that later on tonight. Turn it off for now. Save the electric. Is there any, any hot water? Ooh. The sink needs a clean. Oh, taps on one. That's a bit of a dodgy tap. Morrison's favorite, washing up liquid. Hand wash. Ah, it's happening people, we're not getting hot water. It's cracking way to put like, uh, plug socket on the wall in it. There's one here as well. <laughs> so here's the thing, 
88 pound for the night i don't think it's that bad to be fair actually i quite like it you know i didn't even looked at the bedroom the bed oh my god the bed i didn't even looked at the bed and i'm saying i like it i like it in here it's all that you need pretty close in it you got your city you can sit there watch youtube pop over to here where you're still watching youtube you know hotel hunter uk subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet make yourself a, a cup of tea or coffee and then you could sit here like this you know just programming your, your microwave like this whilst you know you're still watching youtube there you go microwave went for some reason i didn't even press any buttons hey subscribe to the channel if you want to see more after august we're going to be going back to blackpool scarborough load of inner city hotels gonna have a look at all them and one thing i do have tonight is the uv light i'm gonna check out the bedroom let's go have a look right the bedroom oh it's a gray it's not pink ah to keep into the theme pink curtains it's too dark in here isn't it this is a dark room there we go we've got a little bit of light so we have a window microwaves on one again the window overlooks just a field really where it's growing some sort of veg over here but yeah the window overlooks a field i thought it wouldn't be something a bit better then does it open oh there we go oh that's nice oh a good wide window we all need a wide window it's just the problem keeping the wide window open Ooh. yeah unless you have to jam it into the trees there we go there's a way of doing it there's another one here i don't mind this window there's just no way of keeping it open they need to do something about that especially on a warm summer's night they need to think of something to do you know like a little catch to keep the window open like that maybe something like that because it just don't work otherwise and then even this window same again it just closes itself so it could do with a catch you know one like the old council council windows when i was younger or prison cell windows you just open them on a little catch not too wide you don't allow to open your prison cell windows that wide in case you jumped out of them but you get the idea what i'm saying you know if that's windy it's blowing this way it's just gonna be banging all night it's, it's no good now i have noticed something what is it's quite worrying actually and to me i'd be all right about it but other people may not like this there's dead things all over the bed i mean not all over there's two dead things on the bed what's the point of this they put a mirror you just bang your bloody head on the wall if you need to do anything you're gonna have to crouch down like that what's the point of that anyway Check out this. There's one. There's another one there. There was three all together a minute ago. Look, this one, this one, this one's, this one's cold. This one's gone. It's had its last breath. But that one's struggling to continue with its last breath. Mate, I've got you. I've got you covered. Keep going. Wait a minute. Let's open up one day. When, if it stays open. See if we can grab this fly a little bit. There we go. We've got you, mate. Stay calm. Stay calm. There we go. You're free. Yay. Fly that with a tenor on the floor down there. Right. So we saved one fly. This one's, like I say, this one, this isn't brown bread. This one's completely dead as it comes. Oh, no, him. It's alive as well. What's going on? Why is there so many flies in here? That explains the fly spray, doesn't it? Window, close. There we are, people. I've invented the closing window. Ooh, getting a little light. Grey. This, this room's grey. It's not that bad. It's a better colour. I think they could have done more in here. I'll give you a few coat hangers. But I just think there could have been more. It's like, that's it. If you stand in corner here, that's it. That's all you're getting. 
there could have been more. I know it's like a couple of nights near seaside, but I just feel like there could have been more to do with this room. Even a prison cell's got more stuff in it than this. You don't, you don't get a rug in prison. That's not a bad thing, is it? Well, it is, because it's a bit slippy to be fair, so I've, you know, bring your grandma. Oh, get my child's meal. You know what I mean? You'll be spending that in Oxford, never mind in your camping pod. Or glamping pod, as it's called. Posh camping is glamping. One of people know I've got a second YouTube channel. That's my first YouTube channel where I do a lot of camping and stuff like that. 90,000 subscribers. What are we on here? Nearly 15,000. Yeah. I get it. I get the... The, uh, what's that word called for this? Experience. Something like that. Dyslexic, as always. Yeah, novelty. Novelty, that's the word. I get the novelty of these places. I just... If you booked it for two or three nights... There needs to be more, because once you've been around Scarborough, Filey, Bridling, and they're all the same areas. So if you're going to spend a couple of days here, maybe a week, let's say, there just needs to be more in here. I don't know what more they could do, but they can do more. Let's pull the bed apart. I'm waffling on like an old woman, ready to slip over on that mat, spend the night in hospital instead. I'm not just saying old ladies fall over, old men fall over as well. <laughs> I don't want to get done for discrimination. <laughs> Anyone can fall over. Let's re, re say all that. You know, you could come in here, 19 years old. Well, anybody could fall over. And my window is actually having a right fit at the moment. That's what I mean. It needs a catch. Yeah, I'm not saying just older generation can fall. Anybody can fall. The older generation is a little bit more likely. Look, I don't like the look of this, you know. Look at that. It's like it's just coming to pieces. Yeah, the rug. Get some rug grips. Or if you want your rug to stay there, put a little bit of tack on the floor, you know, little small nails. Tack it in place. If you want to take it up, rip it up and do whatever you have to do. A little heater there. Let's have a look at the bed. Bed inspection. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there's a few stains here, 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 small air there. This is paint, that's all that is. It's just paint, same colour as the walls, grey, not pink. There's a few things going on here. They're just bits like fluff, maybe. Let's take the protector off, let's have a look at the mattress. Oh, that looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a bit of a stain here. I don't think you're going to see it on camera. UV light will get that later, but it's not that bad. But they always hide the worst part underneath. Nah, that's pretty clear. I like it. I like it a lot. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah, I can see the odd little stain here. Yellow stains here. Got to expect that. Someone once said to me, Rivers bought back checking your own mats at UV light. I did, and now I need a new mattress because my mattress has got stains on it. What I didn't think were there, like slaver stains. You know, when you're at night, <coughs> slavering, missing puller, going up mattress. Yeah, look, a number of people have slept on this mattress. It's going to get some sort of stains along the line. I think we can all guess what type of stains. But mattress protector, it's got the sheet. Now you don't get any pillow, you don't get quilt covers or quilts, towels, all like that. You've got to bring your, bring your own. So I don't have a sleeping bag, but it's that warm in here. I don't think I'll be needing a sleeping bag at all. It's so warm. But yeah, so if you come to something like this, this sort of place, you would need to bring a quilt with you, especially at nippy nights. Just basics really, innit? Right, I've done somewhat of a job. There we go, let's get that pulled down. See if we can tuck this underneath so it don't look scruffy. Side at bed, what's the side at bed? Oh my God. Oh, 
That is disgusting. I don't like that. Right. I think I found Fly Cemetery. There's more dead bodies in here. It, it, it's that bad. There's a wood lice eating a fly. Wow. It smells a bit in here. Decompose flies. I reckon there must be 50 plus dead flies here. Wow. Let's stop wowing and start showing you. No, I'm not exaggerating. It starts from here. There's all there. There's Mr. Woodlice. Look at all this here. I'm gonna have to put my phone phone. I'm not gonna put my phone on. I don't need to show you. Well, I do. I want to show you. But look, it's dark. I get that. All these black dots. Let me put my light on. Right. I hope this is a bit better now. Look at them. Look at all the air, dirt, pubes there. Everywhere. Look at them. This. It, this needs cleaning. Look at all them there. There's, I can see now in shot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, there we go. And then we can still go down. Oh, money. There's a coin there, it's not British. We'll have a look at it in a minute. Yeah, look, flies, hairs, flies. Look at all these flies here. There's a spider. Look at them. Wow. It's just that is disgusting. They're clearly not cleaning that. Wow, I'm not here to insult the place. I'm here to show the place for people to see if they want to come and see this place and stay in it overnight. I was not expect, expect, expecting fly cemetery. That is a lot of flies, and I'm gonna go get that brush and shovel and brush them all up. I know we can have a clear look how many there is. So if you're eating your tea, maybe this next clip isn't for you. Fly Cemetery. In Fly Cemetery. Yeah, they've definitely been uh, giving it some with fly spray in here. I wonder if, just me thinking out of the top of my head, they've come in here, they've noticed a load of flies, right? Got the fly spray, absolutely blasted the room with it everywhere, shut the door, come back in, oh, they've gone. They've gone outside at bed. That's where they went to. Yeah. Wow. Let's get them cleaned up. Wow. Take a look at all them. That is a lot of flies. Open the uh, window without taking camera crazy. But it's not just flies. I s oh, well, there were a lot of the dust on that as well. See there what I've collected? Now, to be fair, I was slightly exaggerating about the smell, because there's no smell here. Like I said once, it smells like your garden shed. If you've got a wooden garden shed anyway, if you've got a metal one, probably won't smell like this. Yeah. Right. I'm going to check out the toilet area, and then I need to go get something to eat, because my stomach is eating my backbone. It's that windy. It's taking one, two, three, four, five, and two kids to put up the tent. <laughs> I'd go open, but I don't want to do. Taking a uh, quick look at the jacuzzi. Mm. All these settings here. I don't know how these jacuzzis work. Oh. It's a wood one, so you'd like that, and that heats up the water on the inside. It's like a big hot tent stove, this. No, I don't know how to close it. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, Barbara. There we go. Dampeners, so you can slow it down from burning. I quite like that idea. Where your water's coming from, your electric, and you got your field. Yeah. 
If I was staying longer, I might have uh, put this on. Because I'm not staying long, just one night. Didn't think it was worth it. So at this point of the video, it was quite hard to record because there's four sections in the shower block like this and the two centre ones uh, were full. So I didn't really want to walk around talking around the camera. So I quietly recorded this part and over talked it now. I couldn't get hot water through the shower, but through the night, both of these left and the right ones when you walk into the block seem to be empty. So I don't know if they have a hot water problem. You think they would have removed the previous tap holders in case you include to go in and bang the heads on them. But there was no chance of getting hot water through this shower. And as you look around here, you always find your sink. It's an on-site toilet, so everybody uses them. So the joys of probably try to keep them tidy permanently will be hard work. Been a few bits in the bin. Some I did notice here, but someone's been peeing the uh, cladding. Well, they've been sitting on the toilet probably. Spider there. Laying a nest between, well, making a nest between the toilet roll and the wall. Didn't quite have enough clad in here. Missing handle. But yeah, like someone's been stabbing away at the cladding on the wall there. And it is the same in the previous one. So I've been out to get some dinner and I got a a mega cheeseburger. Somebody always asks me what do I eat when I do these videos in like Blackpool and stuff. And it's always some sort of junk food or I go to the steakhouse. But I had to go to this uh, takeaway shop. It wasn't that bad. Oh look, I've opened it upside down. It wasn't that bad. The food actually looks good for what I thought it was going to be. Like I said, I got a mega cheeseburger. And then some chips, what I've lost all hope in life. But for <laughs> they've been soaked in that much fat. They've just gone floppy, haven't they? Right. I'm not gonna show you eating show you la, 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 show you me eating all my burger, but get your mouth around that. Don't get these whoppers in McDonald's, do you? You get like an, uh, a one mil burger, a bit of cheese and a whatever else you get on it. Mmm. You know what I'm getting there flavour is like, do you know once they've been cooking the food all day, like kebabs and say burgers and all other stuff, whatever they cook on them grills, they probably just dump these burgers on all that without cleaning it because you get a lot of flavour, not just the beef burger and cheese. But it tastes nice. What I'm going to do, I'm my dinner. And then, short walk, sorry, short walk to the beach. And then as it gets dark, we'll get that UV light going. And then I just want to see how noisy it is tonight. There's a campsite, because there's more tents popping up now. And there's a few other caravans on the other side. I didn't realise it was a camping site. But for the price, £88 for the night, it's not that bad. And I'm sort of keeping out of bedroom, to be fair. Them <laughs> flies, bloody hell. So I've come for a quick walk to the seaside. See the beach and the beach sees me. God bless the beach and God bless me. Tides right in, very nice. I'm a bit of a hill walking pack up here, isn't it? Whew, bit of a steep one. I uh, been thinking quite a lot of way down here. About a 10 minutes walk, about the UV light in the room. Looking forward to trying it, to be fair. Wow. This is going to be a hell of a walk back up. Yeah, we'll get back in after this little walk. And then uh, 
wait till it gets a bit dark and crack that UV light. See what stains show on that mattress. time to do the UV light testing. Now the bed is going to be tested, curtains, floor, the wall and then if we can we're going to get into the same toilet that I looked around earlier and we'll see what the UV light picks up where. I'm not too really fussed about the worktop and the floor because we know things fall on the floor when you're eating and drinking food but we'll have a little look over the kitchen little area but first Let's get on with the UV light in the bedroom because I've already had a little look around and there's some things that I want to show you. First is this. Let's turn you around. You see the curtains? They look sort of decent. If I turn the light out, stick the UV light on. Look at this. Someone or something has been wiped on the curtains. I'm just saying, it's so close to the bed as well. You can make your own mind up there. But here, there is uh, stains or whatever it is on the wall. There's some run marks. I'm not sure you can see these too good. Oh, but there is run marks. There's not a lot of stains. I can't be picking them out saying there is when there isn't. Here's a couple of stains everywhere really, where the headboard is. This way heads have been rubbing. The table is lighting up like a bit of a light bulb. There's nothing on the bed sheet but I do know on the floor I don't know where you can see them here and here there's a few stains on the floor make your own mind up it's up to you right let's show you the bed so the mattress is very clean there's odd Odd stain there, but that's really good for the mattress what people have been laying on weekly. There's a little bit of change of colour here, but that's not too bad. But that just shows that they are looking after the place really well. There's another mark just there, but like I say, it's just two out of the whole mattress. That's pretty good. So I came down to use the UV light in the bathroom area, toilet, sink, shower. You can't do it because the light is on a sensor. So when you walk in, the light triggers off. When you go out, it stops sensing you, the light goes off. Come in, goes on, goes out, goes off. You can't, you can't get away with it, you can't turn it on or off. So I can't use UV light in here either. Wow, didn't think about that, did I? Look at the state of that. Like someone's been here stabbing away at it. So like I said earlier on in the video, you've got to bring your own bedding basically, quilt, uh, pillow, so this is my camping one. So 
so I thought this works well for when I'm out camping in tents and places like that. Yeah, works well when I'm out camping in tents in different places. It's quite a nice fit puller there. That'll do me good. I'm going to use this one. And then uh, I've got my sleeping bag. Now, it's not exactly cold, but yeah, I just feel like at least having something I can put around myself is better than not having it. So I've got a sleeping bag. I just feel like you have to be quiet. Even though the pods are about 15 feet away from each other, maybe a bit more, 20, 20, 25 feet away from each other, you still feel like you have to be quiet if you don't want to disturb anybody else's sleep. But yeah, and this bed is horrendous. The springs have just gone. There's, there's no hope in the springs at all. If I just turn you around here. I don't know if you can hear him, but yeah. Hear him. The springs are just gone in this mattress. Hmm. It's time to get some sleep. So I just want to give you a quick tip. If you do these sort of hotels like sleeping, cheaper hotels uh i've started doing this so this is a dry bag what you can get for camping you can roll it up and your stuff becomes i won't say waterproof but it's like highly water resistance but just like my pants i'm not going to take my top off on camera but if you put your stuff in them roll it down see how it's trapping the air in there get the air out just roll it a bit more and then you can keep all your clothes safe away from there so if you put that bag on the floor any spiders mice out like that it sort of protects them probably not from mice but you know what i mean don't you creeper crawlers and dead flies everywhere yeah that's a good little idea for that well good morning people I didn't sleep too bad at all, very well actually. I woke up at half five as usual, and then uh, I thought, I'll have a little half an hour, and now it's nine o'clock, I've got one hour I have to leave. The bed, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. It's not too bad, that bed. Everything else, it's not a bad place to stay, to be fair. I'm gonna pack the stuff up, and I'll get straight back to you. Well, there we go, people, been doing some glamping. It's classic like a little hotel room in it really. What do I think about it? I don't know. Is it something I'd do again? So I've done what I normally do when I'm in these hotels and B&Bs. I always say good morning, next time I'm on the street walking to the car well walking through the little campsite there's all the kids and there's people having the breakfast and stuff so i didn't really want to walk through that field talking away on my camera like that so i'm in the car now what did i really think about it bear in mind i've been up about 10 minutes that is it 10 minutes and i enjoyed it i know i might sound absolutely crazy I really, really, really did enjoy being in that pod. It's like camping in a field, but in a wooden tent with a bed, TV, and all other stuff. But yeah, I quite like that pod camping. I might look at more in the future. I'm uh, going to come back to this one. I'm going to see if Emma wants to come back and uh, get that hot tub hired and just have a nice evening or two in the hot tubs. Not all night, but you get what I mean, don't you? Yeah, I really enjoyed this one. This were really good. Yeah, the flies. Yeah, there were a lot of flies dead, weren't there? 99% clean, wasn't it? 
it was really good. I enjoyed this. I did what people have been asking for me to do something else. Now, if you want to see the videos, what I'm on about, where people say, go do something else, instead of these, I'll share them here. I'll leave something here that you can subscribe to my channel. Please do consider subscribing. But most of all, I've got a smile. I will return back to this place. I'll put all the details in the uh, description for you. But do check them out, and I'll see you later on.